Alabama corrections officer of 25 years disappeared on Friday, April 29, 2022, along with an inmate sitting in jail charged with capital murder. Assistant Director of Corrections, 56-year-old Vicki White, has been with the Lauderdale County Sheriff's Office in Florence, Alabama for 16 years. She, along with the inmate, went missing while she was escorting him to a courthouse hearing. The Sheriff's Office announced on Saturday, April 30th, 2022, that the corrections officer disappeared with the 38-year-old inmate, Casey White. Despite the two having the same last name, they are not related. As of this morning, Sheriff Rick Singleton confirmed that the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency, FBI, and U.S. Marshals are assisting in the investigation. CEO Vicki White left the detention center on Friday morning around 9.41 with the inmate, Casey White, and neither have been seen since. According to the sheriff's office, the vehicle they left in was discovered at a nearby shopping center parking lot. The inmate, Casey White, was being held on capital murder charges in the death of Connie Ridgway. In September 2020, White was charged with capital murder for the brutal stabbing of 58-year-old Connie Ridgway in 2015. 59-year-old Connie Ridgway was found dead in her home at the Meadowland Apartments on Prince Drive in Rogersville, located across the street from Lauderdale County High School's football field. Rogersville police were called to her apartment around 6 p.m. that Friday by a neighbor requesting a welfare check. She was found slain in her living room. Casey White claims that Ridgway's death was a murder for hire and the five-year-old case is still under investigation. In the same year that he killed Connie Ridgway, in the span of just one night, he was involved in a home invasion, two carjackings, and multiple shootings in North Alabama and South Tennessee that killed a dog and injured a woman. He also tried to kill an ex-girlfriend and kidnapped her two roommates. He has also faced other charges spanning over the last five years, including first-degree robbery, burglary, animal cruelty, and ultimately first-degree murder. And as of now, he is on the loose with a female corrections officer who has either lost her mind in helping him or she could possibly be another one of his victims. If you live in the areas of northern Alabama, the area where he escaped, please beware and stay safe. This is an extremely dangerous individual, obviously. At this point, especially if he is receiving help, he could be anywhere. Hopefully, they will catch up to him quickly and put him back where he belongs, behind bars with correction officers who follow proper procedures to keep our community safe from harm. White, who was already serving time for the 2015 crime spree I mentioned before that involved a home invasion, carjacking, and police chase, made a decision to confess to a cold case murder when he wrote a letter to corrections officials asking for Lieutenant Brad Potts with the Lauderdale County Sheriff's Office and confessed to the murder while providing unreleased details about the case. He was awaiting trial at the Lauderdale County Jail when he disappeared, along with the seasoned veteran CO Vicki White. The corrections officer told jail officials she was escorting the inmate to a mental health evaluation at the courthouse but it was discovered that no evaluation was ever scheduled. She was also alone with the inmate, which the sheriff said was in direct violation of department policy. He stated that the policy for any inmate with those kind of charges were to have two sworn deputies escort them, something she failed to do. Vicki White dropped the inmate off at the courthouse and then proceeded to inform a co-worker that she had a doctor's appointment. But after she was discovered missing, officials called her doctor's office and there was a confirmed appointment. However, she was a no-show. 
When the officer tried contacting her later that afternoon, her phone went straight to voicemail. That's the moment it dawned on jail officials that the inmate, Casey White, had not been returned to his cell, which set off a manhunt for both the fugitive and the corrections officer. Officials said no one even realized the two were missing until 3.30 that afternoon, and deputies repeatedly tried to contact Vicki White, but her phone continued straight to her voicemail every time. Singleton said his department was aggressively investigating the incident and would be looking into previous interactions between the two in order to see if something else was going on. He also said that his department was in shock, but that it was a possibility that she did help him escape. For example, aside from the missed doctor's appointment, that she could have set up as part of the plan to make it appear she was abducted just one day before she went missing, Vicki White had turned in papers for her retirement. And not only that, but the day she took him to court, she broke protocol by escorting him to court by herself. In theory, because we do not know how this case is going to turn out and that there is a possibility she could have become a victim, so far, the only thing that makes sense about this breaking story is pointing towards the high probability that she is in on this and not a victim. But the question remains, if that is so, then why? I am going to take a wild guess that would be obvious to most people. She got close to him and developed feelings. In a very unorthodox method, mind you especially for her position, but people do bizarre things all the time that are shocking. And she wouldn't be the first in her line of work to help a prisoner escape, if this is indeed the case. Sheriff Singleton said on Friday that the department was still aggressively investigating and trying to figure out what happened into her disappearance. Authorities were surveying the parking lot at a local shopping center where Vicki White's patrol car was found empty and abandoned and began looking through the patrol car's video footage in hopes it would possibly reveal another vehicle that the inmate could have escaped in, along with the missing CO and whether she was taken hostage or if she was part of the escape plan. The department is also reviewing Casey White's jail logs and phone calls for additional clues. Authorities are just baffled and scratching their heads on this one, wondering if the two were in cahoots, and if so, because they personally know her, they can't wrap their head around it, understandably. Sheriff Singleton described Vicki White as an exemplary employee who had been voted Supervisor of the Year on several occasions. He also added that every employee in this office is shocked that she is missing and are all in disbelief it has even happened. Singleton also expressed that the department will continue treating Vicki White's disappearance as a kidnapping unless they find convincing evidence that says otherwise. Whether she was kidnapped or involved in helping the inmate escape, Singleton still believes she is in danger regardless of the circumstances and that Casey White was in jail for capital murder and has nothing to lose. So what are your thoughts and theories? If you have any, put them below in the comments. For new content and breaking news stories, please be sure to click the notifications to follow along and be notified when updates are available. Don't forget to like, comment, and please feel free to share. You can also join my Facebook group for True Crime and History Time and follow me on TikTok and Instagram. My usernames for those platforms are at Jerry Scarborough Official. And as always, thank you for watching, subscribing, and supporting my channel.